Hey everyone, uh, welcome to your weekly sun sign astrology horoscope for the week of August 5th to 10th of 2022. Um, please be sure to not only check your sun sign, but also your moon and your rising sign as well. Also, I'm starting to do uh, live streams on Twitch every Sunday, link in the description, um, where I can go over the astrology talk and, um, and we take questions from anybody who's there in regards to anything astrology or tarot card related or, you know, whatever. Hang out and have a discussion. Um, also, I'm curious to know uh, how this triple conjunction in Taurus has been going for everyone. So if you can, uh, leave, leave me a comment below and uh, let me know how it's been going for you. I'm really interested to see. So uh, with all that being said, let's get into the charts for your sign. Hey Pisces, how are you this week? So this quarter square of the sun and the moon is going to be happening in your sixth and your ninth house. So again, this is dealing with your day-to-day -day life in the ninth house expansion. So with the moon here in Scorpio in your ninth house, this is going to be bringing up these subconscious and emotional issues in regards to, you know, your beliefs and your expansion and maybe where you need to expand. With this square to this sun in Leo in your sixth house, dealing with unconditional love in terms of your day-to-day -day life. So where do you need to expand in terms of your schedule, in terms of your day-to-day -day life in order to achieve in order to achieve more unconditional love, in order to reach that higher vibrational state of, you know, benevolence and expansion that, that you so desire in that way. Right, again, this is square the nodes here. So the moon is going to be going over that south node as well in Scorpio. So what old beliefs do you need to transmute? What, what areas are, are, are limiting you in terms of your expansion? Because you want to move forward here, you know, in this triple conjunction here in your third house, you know, this is in your local environment. This is in terms of your, maybe your communication, your mind, your logic. It's going to bring you the more abundant life that you want. And your communication of this unconditional love within your day-to-day -day life. This is also very, could be very quick movement forward as well with you in terms of this and maybe where you need to expand in that regard. Again, this is still trying uh, the Jupiter in your second house this is expanding the idea of your own self-worth, right? Ideas of self-worth in regards to, you know, this, this idea of this, you want to feel more loved. You want to have this more self-expression and more loving place within your day-to-day -day life. And again, this may bring up some icky beliefs that you have for you that needs to be transmuted and transformed to give your mind this clear space to move forward into the abundant life you want all right so let's move on to sunday here so on sunday we're going to have mars square saturn this is mars in your third house it's going to be square squaring saturn in your 12th house so again this you're going to be looking behind the scenes here you this may bring up aspects of you know intuition maybe this could be a restriction in terms of of the spiritual connections in your partnerships. Um, but again, this is, I feel like this is, as with every, just the general astrology and with everybody else, this is dealing with your own uniqueness and finding and learning the lessons in, in using your own, your own unique talents and kind of where you fit in and those own unique connections that you have in terms of pushing you forward into the abundant direction that you want. Again, it's your third house and your twelfth house. It's dealing with your mind and your intuition. So, you, there may be a lack of clarity in terms of mind and where you want to go, but this is going to involve you listening to your intuition in terms of the unique direction that's going to be right for you to move forward in this. And honestly, with this sun here in Leo in your sixth house, having unconditional love for yourself and the directions in which you want to go in, into, in within your day-to-day -day life as well. Uh, also on Sunday here, we have Venus in Cancer in your fifth house, and it's going to trine Neptune in your first house. So again, this is Neptune in your own sign. So it's your own planet within your own sign. So this is giving this effectiveness towards you. But again, it's nurturing this, this, this unconditional love, this spiritual unconditional love aspect of yourself that you, that you have to give. I mean, with 12th house Aquarius, 
you you have these spiritual connections and again it could be these divine spiritual connections that are going to help that you need to communicate with that are going to help push you forward into this abundant life that you do want for you and yourself and again this is listening to your intuition and following the dream you're very dreamy you want to communicate intuitively that fantasy maybe in terms of you know in partnerships this could bring up sensitivities as well in that regard in terms of unconditional love too again if we move to monday here so monday we're going to have the lion's gate 88 portal again this portal has already started and will continue to keep going um through close to the end of august again this is when sirius is rising at the same time as the sun on the horizon and with the sun in leo of course that gives its name the lion's gate and of course we're dealing with aspects of unconditional love however on this and sirius also represents it's like our spiritual star spiritual sun and our sun is more the material sun so again with these rising together we're seeing more aspects of unconditional love especially in terms of spirituality etc on this day is going to be venus's exact opposition to pluto however this is going to be a very intense and transformational day it may not feel very positive in the moment that we're in but underlying all of this I feel this is a positive transformation. Okay, we may be focused on what's leaving us, what's going. Um, but we need to try to move on from that and look at still what's on the table for us and what's going to benefit us moving forward into the future. Again, this is the sign of Cancer and Capricorn. This is dealing with our home life, our foundational life, our career, our goals. And with Venus here, those themes are going to evolve in terms of our relationships, money, and material things as well. And there's a transmutational aspect happening here. Again, this is giving power to the divine feminine as well in this area. And it is trying Neptune that is in your first house in your sign. So again, the, the aspect of going with the flow in these regards, listening to our intuition, maybe sensitivities, sensitivities that come up, and also just trying to follow the dream, the dream we have for ourselves, and also the divine dream for us to up-level into a better uh, world as well. Also on this day, we're going to have the sun in trine to Chiron. Again, this is happening in your second house, is dealing with, in terms of your self-worth, the wounds to your self-worth, you know, and what you want to do for your life, in your day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day -day schedule, and what, what, what you love and your self-expression in that way, right? Again, if we move off of this Monday and move to Wednesday here, when we have this exact um, square of the sun to the nodes, you know, this is aspecting, impacting you in terms of your day-to-day -day life, in terms of your expression of your unconditional love within that day-to-day -day life and that stress within that. It, they, the sixth house can be stressful as well. And are you feeling the love like within that, right? And this is opposed Saturn. This is about learning to make the right connections the right spiritual connections for you. Um, and just understanding the unconditional love between each other and our own connections. And again, this is going to involve you in, in terms of healing those wounds in regards to your own self-worth that's going to help. And, that, and those wounds and those unique aspects of you can help to bring the abundance for you in your own life, right? So when this happens, this square is going to happen at 18 degrees. It's a Virgo degree. Again, dealing with six house stuff. And this could be service to other stuff, but as well as, you know, simply analyzing and looking at our day-to-day -day life and what isn't working and what needs to be fixed. Again, after this square happens, the nodes are going to move to 17 degrees, which is a Leo degree. So we're going to be focused more again on these aspects of unconditional love. And what, what old beliefs in regards to that for you, Virgo, need to be tran transmuted and transformed in order for you to move in a more positive direction and expressing that unconditional love and and moving toward more towards that loving life and that loving communication that's going to give you that life and the abundance that you deserve for you okay pisces let's pull a card for you okay pisces let's pull a card for you this week so we'll just clear the deck we'll give it a quick shuffle here and then we'll see what the cards have for you. okay so what does the universe have for Pisces this week? What does the universe have for Pisces this week?
Yeah, definitely with your day-to-day -day life stuff. So we have the King of Earth, prosperous, generous, and successful. So again, you're kind of bringing this, this Leo leadership energy into your day-to-day -day life. And with that moon there on the south node, it's, it's transmuting old beliefs, but also where you need to invest and expand in order to move forward into the, into the environment that's going to bring you this abundance. And I feel like through these self-worth moons that are going to be healed for you this week, that you're going to be moving into this direction of more success and more abundance and what's going to bring you that day-to-day -day life that's going to it's going to make you feel feel better for you and move you in more of that positive direction. Anyways, have a good week Pisces and take care. Hey everyone, uh thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Engagement in any way not only helps me, um but it helps the video performance and if you do comment, please let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, if there's anything that anything else you'd like to see, your engagement not only helps me create better content for you, but it also helps in um, helps me in terms of this video. So thank you. Um, also, if you want to follow me on social media, uh, get any readings with me, all of that stuff is in the description below. So thanks again, guys. Have a good week and take care. Bye for now. Bye.